fact that when I turned 72 years old, I did 100 push-ups in my restaurant, in front of my customers. I've got young grandchildren that can't do two, five push-ups. The fact that I don't even have a primary care physician, I am the best example. But people will look at you and be like, wow, can you hand me that piece of chicken? I will never eat animal flesh, the blood, the mucus, the disease, the... I will never, ever, ever revisit that way of life. What changed in my life was my inability to digest food. Because of knowledge, I learned what foods to eat together and what foods not to eat together. So that helped with the digestive issues. Also, I had really horrible skin and uh, changing took care of that as well. So, you know, I'm a woman, I'm vain. Of course, you know, you want to have pretty skin. And I was a hot mess. I couldn't even wear anything backwards. The diet cared for all of that. Got rid of because I was addicted to refined sugar. So I didn't just give up animal products. I gave up refined sugar, dyes, preservatives, all of that stuff I, I got rid of. People are vegans, but a lot of times all they eat is death, even practicing a vegan diet. Uh, my because they're not raw, you mean? Yes, yeah, not live. Well, as soon as you subject your food to temperatures over 115 degrees Fahrenheit, you've killed the life in that food. And so life begets life, death begets death. And at 72 years old, I have my moments, but I also have the knowledge. A lot of times we're misinformed, and that's unfortunate. We don't know how to seek the information for ourselves. We just grab hold of whatever. The only thing that I would suggest is loving of self and understanding your connection with the oneness on this planet. So practice self-love self-care and uh, embrace the whole. So taking care of you is your responsibility. I read those books and started practicing and I thought, oh my gosh, this is it. And that's when I began to understand the importance of knowledge. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food.